हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट अनदर न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ यूनिट नंबर सिक्स डेट इज कानेटिक्स ऑफ पार्टिकल्स आई हैव अपलोडेड वन फाइल नेम्ड एज सेवन पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट टू जीरो इन दिस फाइल देर आर टू नमेरिकल्स एंड आई विल सॉल्व दोज टू नमेरिकल्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो सो डेट दे शुड नॉट बी एनी कन्फ्यूजन वेन यू विल गो थ्रू दिस पर्टिकुलर फाइल सो लेट अस रीड द प्रॉब्लम वट इज इज ईच ऑफ द सिस्टम्स शोन इज इनिशियली एट रेस्ट सो एक्चुअली इन दिस पर्टिकुलर फाइल टू डायग्राम्स आर गिवन बट स्टेटमेंट इज सेम सो सेम स्टेटमेंट इज एप्लीकेबल टू बोथ द डायग्राम्स सो डेट्स वाई ही ओवर ईयर इट इज रिटर्न ईच ऑफ द सिस्टम्स सो आई विल डिस्कस बोथ द सिस्टम्स वन बाय वन सो राइट नो आई एम टेकिंग फर्स्ट सिस्टम सो ही सेज ईच ऑफ द सिस्टम्स शोन इज इनिशियल एट रेस्ट सो इनिशियली दीज सिस्टम्स आर एट रेस्ट निगलेक्टिंग एक्सल फ्रिक्शन एंड द मासिस ऑफ द पुली डिटर्मिन for each system acceleration of block a then velocity of block a after it has moved 3 meters the time required for block a to reach a velocity of 6 meter per second okay so let us start our solution so what is uh, uh, given in the problem that uh, initially the system is at rest and uh, second thing uh, neglecting axial friction there is no friction anywhere then he says masses of the pulley neglect the masses of mass of the pulley as well so let us first talk about determine for each system the acceleration of block a so we have to first find acceleration of this block a so we have to find a a okay so let us observe this particular system given to us what is given in this there is one pulley and uh, around that pulley one uh, cable is attached on both sides of the cable two blocks are attached one is of 100 kg mass block a another is of 50 kg mass block b okay it means in this particular uh, problem we have to find the acceleration of block a it means uh, this particular problem or these two blocks are in motion but initially they were at rest okay so it means first of all we should draw the free body of block a so first step is free body of block a so how to draw the free body of block a we will first draw the block over here block a is represented the first force to represent is is its weight so weight will act in downward direction 100 into 9.81 another force acting on this block is the tension in this string so tension will act along that string in upward direction so only two forces are acting on block a this particular force system will be equivalent to what will be equivalent to the acceleration of block a in downward direction that is aa okay so this is summation f is equal to ma so in this particular system uh the motion is acting uh, happening along y direction so we will say summation fy summation fy is equal to ma aa so first equation will be summation fy is equal to ma aa so how many y direction forces there are two forces one thing to understand uh, the force acting along the acceleration uh, take that as positive take another force as negative so we will say 100 into 9.81 minus t is equal to ma aa so from here we will get one equation uh, in that equation there will be two variables that is tension and aa so can't solve this single equation having two variables call that equation as one it means the next step is draw the free body of second block so the second block free body will be again same block b two forces its weight acting in downward direction that is 15 into 9.81 and uh, the co uh, tension acting in this string in upward direction so this particular system is equivalent to the let us say acceleration of block b and for time being acceleration is also shown in downward direction so this is summation f is equal to ma now again this particular force act is shown along the acceleration so take the uh, this as positive this as negative so we will say 50 into 9.81 minus t equal to mb ab so mb over here is 50 ab so we will get another equation of t in terms of ab then we will say put this value of t in equation 1 means over here so when you will put value of t in this particular equation then you will get another equation and that equation will have two variables acceleration of block b and acceleration of block a but equation is only one so we have to find relation between these two a a a a a and a b so what will be the relation for that we have to understand this particular problem carefully the relation will be that acceleration of both blocks will be same but if the acceleration of block a is acting in downward direction then acceleration of block b will act in upward direction so we will say aa is equal to minus ab or you can say ab is equal to minus aa 
so use this particular relation and uh, replace a b by minus a a so you will get the value of a a from this particular equation so once you got the value no i think we have to solve only for acceleration of block a so there is no need to talk about a b so we get our first answer over here now let us talk about the second uh, uh, part what he says in second part the velocity of block a after it has moved through three meters now there is one thing to understand this particular block is moving along a rectilinear motion means there is a rectilinear motion of the block a so what he says velocity of block a after it has moved three meters so it means s is given as three meters and uh, what, what we have we have another value acceleration of a a which we have just calculated that is 3.27 fine then we know that this particular block is moving along a straight path and there is some acceleration so it is uniformly accelerated motion that means three equations are applicable those three equations will be v is equal to u plus at s is equal to ut plus half at square or v square minus u square is equal to 2as so out of those three uh, equations this particular equation is suitable that is v square minus u square is equal to 2as now s is given that is 3 meter fine initial velocity he says initially at rest so initial velocity will be u will be equal to 0 acceleration we have already calculated 3.27 so put these values in this particular equation you will get the second answer that is velocity of block a after it has moved through 3 meters then he is asking the time required for block a to reach a velocity of 6 meter per second so for this particular block what will be the time required to reach a velocity of 6 meters per second it means we have velocity 6 meter per second we need to find t and we have initial velocity that is u so which equation is best suited that is v is equal to u plus et so u equal to 0 a we have calculated t we have to find v final velocity is given so from here we will get our third answer so i hope this particular numerical is clear to you but uh, in this particular file another system is shown same statement is applicable to that system as well so i will just discuss about that system that what is the change so after that you can apply same steps to that particular system as well so that system is uh, shown in this manner now you see uh, over here same block a is shown of 100 kilogram but on the other side block is not shown arrowhead is shown with and it is written 50 kilogram it means we will not consider this as a block actually this is creating a confusion so this is not a block on the other side of the pulley actually this particular force is acting on the block in our direction so it means we have to only draw the free body of this particular block in the second system given in that file fine so its final free body will be a block its weight acting in downward direction and this particular uh, tension in the cable we have to take in our direction so multiply 50 into 9.81 that's it so this will be equal to the acceleration of block a in downward direction fine so the only difference between this diagram and this diagram is that over here we are shown a block of 50 kilogram fine so two free bodies will be there but over here there is no block on the other side it is just to create confusion it is 50 kilogram is just the tension in this cord we can take and only one free body will be there to solve the problem so remaining steps will, will be same in order to find these unknown for the second system so i hope uh, this particular numerical is clear to you thank you very much